when you build these systems, you have intelligence in the computer and then eventually human level intelligence. Some people think it's within three to four years. Then after that, you have something called super intelligence. And super intelligence is the intelligence that's higher than of humans. We believe as an industry that this could occur within a decade. It is crucial that America get there first. What is China doing? They're leading in something called open source. They are very close behind us. You all have done a great job in doing chip restrictions and things like that to try to slow them down. They're clever and they're smart. They have industrial programs, huge grants going into these companies, and they're weaponizing up in the sense of competition. If you look at DeepSeek, DeepSeek showed up, right? Nobody expected this. It turns out it's on par now with some of the top models. Welcome. China has arrived into the competition. What would happen if China beat us? Let's think about it. The path to intelligence, that's superhuman intelligence, think of the national security implications of that competition. This is why I believe, and I'll say directly to you, that although everyone is concerned about Taiwan, I'm much more concerned about this. Because if they come to super intelligence, the strong form of intelligence first, it changes the balance of power globally in ways that we have no way of understanding, predicting, or dealing with. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.